Sometimes it feels like nearly every cultural organization is taking on a major expansion project. But do these projects truly sustain visitation increases for the long term? You're watching Know Your Own Bone, Fast Facts for Cultural Executives. I'm Colleen Dylan Schneider. Impacts tracked attendance to 11 cultural organizations that recently completed expansion projects. Each of the assessed organizations had been in business for at least 10 years before opening their new expansion. The average project cost was $43.6 million. The 10-year average attendance for the 11 organizations is standardized to 100 so that we can compare them evenly even though they each have different attendance levels. That's our baseline. Before we jump to post-expansion visitation, here's the average attendance to these organizations cut specifically for the five years before the project is realized. When we undergo an expansion project, organizations tend to forget that visitation often drops for two important reasons. First, construction tends to lower visitor satisfaction and thus decrease the amount of glowing endorsements that an organization receives. Second, during this time, potential attendees are more likely to defer their visits until after the expansion opens. Why visit now when they can come back later and see the new cool expansion? Now, the expansion opens. During the first full year of operation, organizations saw an average increase in visitation of 19.6% compared to the average of the 10 years prior. That's huge! But is it sustainable? At the end of the second full year of operation, attendance decreased from the first year, but it was still up 8.5% over baseline. On the third year, it was up 5.5%. By the fourth, it was only 3.1%, and five years later, organizations' attendance had only increased 1.4%, essentially returning to the pre-opening condition. But it's even worse than that. Not only did these expansions cost millions of dollars, decrease visitation in the years leading up to the opening, and result in near-baseline visitation only five years out, but the U.S. population increased by 11.7% during the assess duration. Adjusting for population growth, being up 1.4% from baseline is a dramatic underperformance of the opportunity. These problems exist because, more often than not, the true barriers to visitation are not addressed by an expansion. Some examples of data informed actual barriers include a lack of establishing content relevance, being open during times that don't work for visitors, and travel issues, for instance. Do expansions stimulate attendance growth in the short term? You bet. But an expansion may only be worth it if it directly solves the most pressing problems facing an organization, and many don't. An expansion in and of itself is a solution if an organization's problem was fitting everyone in the door. And now you're in the know. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, head on over to Know Your Own Bone.